When boredom and a few too many beers strike, remarkable ideas are born. This was precisely the case for Swedish enthusiasts Henrik Söderlund and Morgan Grenden, who decided to embark on an ambitious project fitting a 400 horsepower two-stroke V8 engine into a Volvo Amazon, resulting in a mind-boggling creation that turned heads and surely annoyed neighbors. Let's delve into the story behind this wild venture and explore the unconventional marriage of a 1980s Evinrude 300XP Marine V8 and the iconic Volvo 120. But first, let's quickly delve into two-stroke engines and how they work, as well as why this kind of thing you isn't seen very often. Two-stroke engines excel in their simplicity, making them easier to maintain and repair, particularly for novice mechanics. Their basic principle relies on three essential elements for combustion, air, fuel and spark. Notably, the integration of fuel and oil eliminates the need for oil changes, while the absence of valves reduces complexity. Instead, a reed valve allows air into the combustion chamber and the spark plug ignites the fuel mixture. The resulting burn gases exit through the exhaust port into the expansion chamber. With fewer parts, these engines boast lighter construction, all while delivering significant power. The defining feature of a two-stroke engine is the power delivery, which polarizes enthusiasts. Most of the power lies high up, similar to the characteristic lag experienced in early turbocharged engines. However, once the power comes on the pipe, it's exhilarating. Two-stroke engines generate more power per cubic inch than their four-stroke counterparts, resulting in a distinct sound that is instantly recognizable. For example, a Yamaha YZ250 two-stroke engine produces 49 horsepower, surpassing the 48 horsepower of the YZ450F four-stroke engine, illustrating the significant power advantages of two-stroke engines. The design of two-stroke engines incorporating an oil-fuel mixture eliminates the need for a sump or lubrication system found in four-stroke engines. While this simplifies the engine's construction and reduces costs, it compromises combustion efficiency. Incomplete combustion leads to increased fuel wastage, higher pollution levels and emissions that surpass those of similarly powerful four-stroke engines. Addressing this emissions challenge has become a significant focus for two-stroke engine development, and that's exactly why these engines aren't more widely used. They are simply too dirty for use on public roads, which means that there isn't a lot of money in them, so most manufacturers rather focus on development of their four-stroke counterparts. Anyways, back to these crazy suites and their awesome V8-powered Volvo. Inspiration struck the creators when they were under the influence of alcohol, as I said previously. Hendrik recalls a moment saying, It came to us when we were drunk. I had the motor in my boat. It was in the garage for some service and tuning. I happened to park the boat with the engine hanging next to the Amazon, and a few beers later, the picture cleared. Little did they know that this seemingly boozy, epiphany would lead to an extraordinary automotive experiment. The heart of this unique vehicle is a 3.6 liter Everood 300XP two-stroke marine V8, which originated from the 1980s era. Hendrik and Morgan ingeniously shoehorned this potent engine into the body of a Volvo, giving birth to a fusion of automotive and marine technologies. The original engine produced 340 horsepower on the crank, but with the addition of a customized expansion chamber, extensive porting and electronic fuel injection, the power output is expected to have increased significantly. While the precise power band of this unconventional creation remains unknown, the enthusiasts have already revved it up to 5200 RPM. However, the tuned expansion chambers are designed for up to 6500 RPM, and with the rev limiter set at 8500 RPM, there is immense untapped power waiting to be unleashed. Hendrik confidently states, with the pipe's extensive porting and EFI, it should make more. The prospect of further tuning promises even more breathtaking performance from the Swedish masterpiece. Now they didn't stop with the engine. To accommodate the massive power of the two-stroke V8, the creators made several modifications to the vehicle. They fitted a customized power glide transmission and a Volvo Dana four-link rear end ensuring optimal power delivery and control. Additionally, a pair of colossal 33 by 10 inch inch drag sleeves are installed that provides the necessary grip to harness the cost potential. Remarkably, only 30 kilograms of the original structure of the Volvo Amazon remains intact, resulting in a swell weight of 683 kilograms. This substantial weight reduction combined with the awe-inspiring power of it should enable the Swedish creation to tear down the road strip at astonishing speed. 
Now, unfortunately, this project started in 2014 and I can't find any updates on the actual power and jack times. But this remains super cool and it sounds even cooler. Just take a listen. To end it off, from a drunken idea to a draw-dropping reality, the 400 horsepower two-stroke V8 Volvo Amazon showcases the ingenuity and passion of Hendrik Schuderland and Morgan Grendon. By combining a potent marine engine with a classic Volvo body, they have created an... Well, I don't even know what to call it, but I can tell you that I like it. But let me know down below what you think of this, and if you know the actual power, because I really couldn't find it, and like drag times and stuff like that, let me know down below. Um, maybe I'll make a second part or I'll just leave like an update or I'll pin your comment or whatever. Yeah. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you did like it, you'll like all of my other stuff. So just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.